lost in a world of confusion. Caught up in a world of an Anglo society. Confused by the rules, scorned by attitudes, suppressed by manipulations, and destroyed by modern society. My fathers have lost the economic battle and won the struggle of cultural survival. And now I must choose between the paradox of victory of the spirit despite physical hunger or to exist in the grasp of American social neurosis, sterilization of the soul and a full stomach. Yes, I have come a long way to nowhere, unwillingly dragged by that monstrous technical industrial giant called progress. And Anglo success. I look at myself. I watch my brothers. I shed tears of sorrow. I sow seeds of hate. I withdraw to the safety within the circle of life. My own people. beyond the dreams of the Gauchupin Cortez, who is also the blood, the image of myself. I am the Maya Prince. I am Netzahualcoyot, great leader of the Chichimecas. I am the sword and flame of Cortez the Death Body. I am the eagle and serpent of the Aztec civilization. I own the land as far as the eye could see under the crown of Spain. And I toiled on my earth and gave my Indian sweat and blood for the Spanish master who ruled with tyranny over man and beast and all that he could trample, but the ground was mine. I was both tyrant and slave. As Christian Church took its place in God's good name, to take and use my virgin strength and trusting faith, the priests, both good and bad, took but gave a lasting truth that Spaniard, Indian, Mestizo were all God's children. And from these words grew men who prayed and fought for their own worth as human beings. For that golden moment of freedom! I was part in blood and spirit of that courageous village priest Hidalgo in the year 1810 who rang the bell of independence and gave out that lasting cry, El Grito de Dolores! ¡Que vuelvo gauchupines! ¡Viva la Virgen de Guadalupe! I sentenced him who was me. I excommunicated him my blood. I drove him from the pulpit to lead a bloody revolution for him and me. I killed him. His head, which is mine, and all of those who have come this way, I placed on that fortress wall to wait for independence. Morelos, Matamoros, Guerrero, all compañeros in the act against that wall of infamy to feel the hot gouge of lead that my hands made. I died with them. I lived with them. I lived to see our country free. 
free from Spanish rule in 1821. Mexico was free, the crown was gone, but all his parasites remained and ruled and taught with gun and flame and mystic power. I worked, I sweated, I bled, I prayed and waited silently for life to again commence. and died for Don Benito Juarez, guardian of the Constitution. I was him on dusty roads, on barren plains, as he protected his archives as Moses did his sacraments. He held his Mexico in his hand on the most desolate and remote ground, which was his country. And this giant little Zapotec gave not one palm's breadth of his country's land to kings or monarchs or presidents of foreign power. I rode with Pancho Villa, crude and warm, a tornado with full strength nourished and inspired by the passion and the fire of all his earthly people. Ah! Emiliano Zapata. This land, this earth, is ours. I ride with revolutionists against myself. I am rural, coarse and brutal. I am the mountain Indian, superior over all. The thundering hoofbeats are my horses. The chattering machine guns are death to all of me. Yaki! Tarumara, Chamula, Zapotec, Mestizo, Español. I have been the bloody revolution. The victor, the vanquished. I have killed and been killed. I am the despots Diaz and Huerta. And the apostle of democracy, Francisco Madero. the black shawl faithful women who die with me or live depending on the time and place. I rode the mountains of San Joaquin. I rode as far east and north as the Rocky Mountains and all men hit the guns of Joaquin Murrieta. I killed those men who dared to steal my mind who raped and killed my love, my wife. I stand here looking back, and now I see the present, and still I am the campesino. I am the fat political coyote, I of the same name, Joaquin, in a country that has wiped out all my history, stifled all my pride, in a country that has placed a different weight of indignity upon my age, old, burdened, back. Inferiority is the new load. The Indian has endured and still emerged the winner. The mestizo must yet overcome. And the gachupin will just ignore. Uno, dos, one, two, three, cuatro. I look at myself and see part of me who rejects my father 
and my mother and dissolves into the melting pot to disappear in shame. I sometimes sell my brothers out and reclaim them for my own when society gives me token leadership in society's own name. I bleed in some smelly cell from club or gun or tyranny. I bleed as the vicious gloves of hunger cut my face and eyes as I fight my way from stinking barrio to the glamour of the ring and light of fame for mutilated sorrow. My blood runs pure on the ice-caked hills of the Alaskan Isles. On the corpse-strewn beach of Normandy, the foreign land of Korea, and now, Vietnam. Here I stand, before the court of justice, guilty for all the glory of my raza, to be sentenced to despair. Here I stand, poor in money, arrogant in pride, bold with machismo, rich in courage, wealthy in spirit and faith. My knees are caked with mud. My hands calloused from the hole. I have made the Anglo rich, yet equality is but a word. The Treaty of Hidalgo has been broken and is but another treacherous promise. My lands are lost and stolen. My culture has been raped. I lengthen the line at the welfare door and fill the jails with crime. These, then, are the rewards this society has for sons of chiefs and kings and bloody revolutionists who gave a foreign people all their skills and ingenuity to pave the way with brains and blood for those hordes of gold-starved strangers who changed our language and plagiarized our deeds as feats of valor of their own. They frowned upon our way of life and took what they could use. Our art, our literature, our music, they ignored. So they left the real things of value and grabbed at their own destruction by the greed and avarice. They overlooked that cleansing fountain of nature and brotherhood, which is Joaquin. I must fight and win this struggle for my sons, and they must know from me who I am. I have endured in the rugged mountains of our country. I have survived the toils and slavery of the fields. I have existed in the barrios of the city, in the suburbs of bigotry, in the mines of social snobbery, in the prisons of dejection, in the muck of exploitation, in the fierce heat of racial hatred. Fisher! Spit! And now the trumpet sounds. The music of the people stirs the revolution. Like a sleeping giant, it slowly rears its head to the sound of tramping feet, clamoring voices, mariachi strain, fiery tequila explosion, smell of chili verde, and soft brown eyes of expectation for a better life. Farmland, the barren plain, mountain village. 
I look the same, I feel the same, I cry and I sing the same, I am the masses of my people and I refuse to be absorbed. Endure. I will endure. 